Moringa held by Tony Abbott for a quarter of a century, a margin of 11.1%. But this isn't any old election we're talking about. Zali Stegel, the Winter Olympian, the medalist in the Winter Olympics, born in Manly Hospital, born and bred in that part of the world. She is running one, a huge challenge against Tony Abbott. And what's it about? It's all about the issue of climate change, almost a single policy campaign from Zali Stegel. Let's go live to Stella Todorovic. And Stella, the mail that I'm getting from the major parties is that Tony Abbott uh, and his hold on Moringa is looking very, very shaky indeed. He has fought back in the past. We know he's a fighter. But on this occasion, it looks like it might be just a bridge too far, Stella. That's right, Kieran. Well, Tony Abbott just voted and he was chatting to voters in line as he waited in line and he said that the fight has never been as ferocious as it is in this election campaign. He seemed upbeat. His spirits were good. He even had his democracy sausage after casting his vote. I think that, um, you know, this he's been in this seat, Kieran, for 25 years. A loss would be devastating to him and to the Liberal Party and Zali Stegel has definitely put up a fight in the seat here as well. So it's it's one to watch this today because we're seeing this um, campaign from Get Up as well, a very open campaign to get rid of Tony Abbott and to unseat him. And of course, that would be unnerving for any candidate. Just outside the polling booth, he told reporters and fellow media, the scrum that was waiting there, he told us that... Um, He's always been a nervous candidate, but that today he's just kind of keeping his head high and he's going to see where it takes him. Uh, Kieran, it's, it's definitely going to be interesting to see where, um, how, where today takes us. Zali Stegel is set to vote at Balgaila Heights in about half an hour. Well, I would like to have uh, a government who is going to look after for the people um, to take care of the economy. It's very important for everyone to make sure that we vote with our brains, not with the, just with the heart. So that grab we just got there was from a voter earlier on the street chatting to me and his main concern, he mentioned climate change, he also mentioned electric vehicles when he was talking to me. So it's it's definitely an election that's for the people and, and everyone really wants to hear, you know, what these candidates have to offer and both of them, according to this particular voter, um, have really set aside a very positive uh, campaign for him.